Hello and welcome to another exciting tutorial of Great Stack. Today in this video we are going to learn how to enable HTTPS by obtaining a free SSL certificate. Here you can see I have hosted this website online and right now you can see the message not secured because it is running on HTTP. So we have to enable HTTPS by obtaining a SSL certificate. I have hosted this website on VPS hosting by Hostinger. So if you are planning to buy a VPS hosting then visit this website hostinger.in or you can follow the link given in the description that will directly take you to this VPS page. This is the right time to purchase a VPS hosting or any hosting plan from Hostinger because currently Black Friday sale is going on and you will get the maximum discount in this period. If I scroll down, you can see here we have different hosting plan for VPS. So in this first plan, you can see we are getting one virtual CPU, 4 GB of RAM, 50 GB of disk space and 4 TB of bandwidth. If you go to second plan, you are getting these configurations. So you will not get these configuration from any cloud hosting at this price. So do check out the Hostinger VPS plan if you are planning to buy a VPS hosting. Now come back to the our website and this website is running on HTTP and we have to enable HTTPS. So the first step to add the IP address of our VPS in our domain record. So let's come back to the Hostinger dashboard and here you can see this is the VPS hosting that I am using. If I click on manage and click on SSH access. So in this one you can see we have the IP address of our VPS hosting. And here we have the access link. So in the terminal we can use this ssh root at the rate and the IP address of our VPS hosting. Then it will connect us with the VPS terminal. But before that we have to add the IP address. So let's copy this IP address that is the VPS IP address and we have to add it in the domain record. So if I open my domain that is estatedev.in and here you can see we have already added the domain record that is the A record and it is pointing to this IP address that is same as the VPS IP address. So make sure you have added the A record with the IP address of your VPS hosting. So after adding the domain record you have to connect with the terminal. So just copy this line and open the terminal on your computer. So now I am at the desktop terminal and here we will paste this connection string. Let me just copy again and paste it here. Press enter. Now it is asking for the VPS password. So let me add my password. If you don't know how to deploy your website on VPS hosting, I already have a dedicated video about how to deploy your website on VPS hosting by Hostinger. You can find that video link in the description. So you can see now we are connected with the VPS terminal. Correct? Here you can see the username root and this server. Correct? Now in this one, first we will check for any updates. So let's add sudo apt update. Just Type this command, press enter. After that we will add the second command that is sudo apt upgrade dash y. So it will upgrade all the packages that is available for update. So add this command sudo apt upgrade dash y, press enter. Now all our packages are updated. Now we need to install the package that is required to get the SSL certificate. For that we will type sudo apt install dash y certbot. We are using certbot package to get the SSL certificate. Then we will add python3 certbot nginx. Because I have installed the nginx server on my server. If you have installed the Apache server, then instead of this nginx, you can write Apache like this. So let me write nginx sudo apt install y certbot python3 certbot nginx. Write this command, press enter. So after installing this certbot, next we have to install the SSL certificate on our domain. 
So for that we will add the command cert what dash dash nginx dash d. Instead of this nginx, you can write Apache if you are using the Apache server. So my server is nginx, that's why I am using nginx. So we have added cert what dash dash nginx dash d. And after that you have to enter your domain name. So let's add the space and here we will add the domain name. So we will add estatedev.in. This is my domain name and we will get the SSL certificate on www version also. We will add dash d space www dot and domain. So the domain is estatedev.in. So we will obtain the SSL certificate for this domain and this www version of the domain. Now just press enter. You can see the message requesting a certificate for this domain name. After adding this command, it will ask you to enter your email ID. So you have to enter the email ID in this terminal. And after that, it will generate the SSL certificate for your domain. So as you can see here, we have this message successfully deployed the certificate for this domain. Correct. So after getting this message, let me just come back to the web browser and let's open the website that is running on HTTP with not secured message. If I simply refresh it, then you can see here we don't have the not secure message and you can see the protocol HTTPS. Correct. So the SSL certificate has been issued and now our website is running on HTTPS. If I click on this icon and click on this message connection is secure and here we can view the certificate. Let's click here certificate is valid. Now you can see the details about the SSL certificate. So you can see the organization. Let's encrypt. And this is the expiry date. Right. So normally the certificates are issued for 90 days and you have to renew the certificate after 90 days. But here we are using the cert what to issue the certificates. That's why we don't have to renew our certificate. It will renew the certificate automatically. Let me just come back to the terminal again and in this terminal we can check the timer so for that let's add the command system ctl space status cert what dot timer so we have added this command system ctl status cert what dot timer and press enter so here you can see the active message and you can see the message here run cert what twice daily it means it will run this timer daily two times and when the certificate expiry date is within 30 days then it will automatically renew the certificate we can verify the renewal also so to verify the certificate renewal, we will just enter the command cert what renew dash dash dry run. Just add this command cert what renew dry run and press enter. So after that you will see this message congratulations all simulated renewals succeeded. It means it will renew the SSL successfully before 30 days of the expiry. So this is how you can obtain the free SSL certificate for your domain on VPS hosting by Hostinger. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Greatest Tech to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.